A jet edge rotary swivel connects a fixed ultra high pressure water line to a rotary manifold. These swivels are ultra high pressure fixtures that can operate at speeds up to 1500 RPM and water pressure up to 55,000 PSI. Water leakage from the swivel body indicates the swivel high pressure shaft seal is leaking and should be replaced. If water enters the bearings, the lubrication can be washed away and ruin the bearings. The shaft seal is typically replaced every 40 hours of use. All components are worn out more quickly at higher rotary speeds. Required equipment includes a 1 inch dowel, a spanner wrench, a seal removal tool, precision lube, two 832 screws, high pressure grease, and the swivel shaft seal. Turn off power and lock out, tag out the pump. Disconnect the air hose and the ultra high pressure water lines from the swivel assembly. Dismantle any mounting brackets that secure the swivel assembly to the equipment. Move the swivel assembly to a workbench. Use a spanner wrench to unthread and remove the swivel cap. Pull the seal housing from the swivel body. The seal backup disc might come out of the swivel body with the seal housing. If the backup disc remains in the swivel body, use two 832 by 3 inch machine screws to remove the backup disc. The disc has two holes to accept the screws. When the swivel cap and seal housing are removed, inspect the swivel shaft for wear, scoring, or other damage. Insert the seal removal tool through the center of the high pressure seal inside the seal housing. Hook the tool lip over the inner edge of the high pressure seal and pull outward to extract the shaft seal and discard. Clean the seal housing with degreaser and dry with shop air. Clean and inspect the seal backup disc for damage and wear. Ensure the weep holes are not obstructed. Slide the seal backup disc over the swivel shaft and verify free play is not excessive. The backup disc should be replaced every other seal change for optimal component life. Apply a light coat of high pressure lubricant to the new seal. Notice the orientation of the o-ring on the seal. Use a one inch dowel to press the swivel seal into the seal housing until it is flush with the face of the seal housing. Apply a light coat of general purpose grease to the backup disc. Place the backup disc into the seal housing.
install the seal housing in the swivel body. Apply precision lube to the swivel body threads. Slide the swivel cap over the seal housing and thread the swivel cap onto the swivel body. Tighten with a spanner wrench. Do not over tighten the retaining cap. It only needs to be tight enough to hold the internal components in place. Install the swivel assembly into the equipment from which it was removed. Lubricate the swivel assembly with general purpose grease through the grease zerk. Connect the ultra high pressure water supply and connect the pneumatic supply. Unlock the power to the pump and test the swivel for proper operation. Water flow needs to be present before any rotation. Verify that there are no water leaks from the weep holes in the swivel assembly. The swivel assembly must be greased after two to three hours of use with general purpose grease through the grease zerk.